You're late. Hurry, let's go. Yo. Oh, Senpai.
Well, see ya. Welcome back. I want you to have this. Good night. Are you going to wish for something too? M me? <laughs> Thank you. I'm wishing for everyone's health. For Chie, for you, for the others, and everyone at the inn too. And I'm wishing to become a woman worthy of you. Finally, I wish for everyone to be able to smile together. Let's begin our prayer. I've decided not to leave Inaba. I never really objected to being the inn's manager per se. I just didn't like the fact that it wasn't up to me. I felt that my life was on rails. And I thought running away was the only choice for me. But no longer. I want to protect the family inn. After all, it's near to my heart. Um, thank you. I think it's because of you that I realized this. Because you were always by my side. this before. Uh, why? Why are you always with me? I is it okay for me to ask? You... You like... me? <sighs> uh... Um... I feel the same way, 
so... I thought my heart was going to stop. Um, stay here with me. Just a little longer. I want you to have it, Senpai. Yes. Huh? 
Uh-huh. You can... Nice work.
And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected.
this. Um... this. Oh, what a great spread! I've never seen so many pieces of fatty tuna. Well, if you're gonna have a celebration, you can't do it halfway. Celebration? Ah, it's about this. What? I didn't care who it was. I was pissed off. I wanted to be famous. The suspect was often heard saying these things. The young suspect has confessed to being the culprit behind the recent cases but he's shown no remorse so far. Because of several inconsistencies in the boy's deposition, some have called for a mental examination to be carried out. Until then, the police will be continuing their investigation to shed light on all the prior incidents. It was actually really tough to make a case out of this. All we had was the suspect's confession and some circumstantial evidence. But the lab found the perp's prints on the victim's clothes, so we made it stick after all. Man, isn't crime scene investigation something? Who would have thought you could get viable prints from cloth? There's no more scary stuff to worry about. You're safe now. Uh-huh. Man, that guy was twisted. A high schooler committing multiple murders and leaving the bodies like that. He was over the edge. Good thing we caught him. Now I can stop seeing suspects in every shadow, if the killer was still on the loose. Enough, Adachi. If you keep running your mouth, the sushi's gonna dry up. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Come on, everyone. Eat up.
Well, since you asked... Huh? You don't like sushi, Nanako-chan? There's wasabi in it. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell him to hold the wasabi. Here, I'll take it off for you. Which one do you want? Halibut. Excellent taste, Nanako-chan. As for me, I'll go for sea urchin. Hey, there's only one of those. Too late. First come, first serve. Hey. How stupid. You're back.
funny. I remember this festival being a lot more crowded. Is it because of the murders? Yeah, there ain't that many people here this year. Well, I guess you can't blame people for being scared. I haven't seen the reporters around either. And they sure are good at stirring shit up and then disappearing. Well, it ain't so bad to have thin crowds. What is important right now is that we go get some... Ooh, I want to get some too! Kanji, what's Ikayaki? Man, they're late. Why were they meeting up at Yukiko's house in the first place? They'll show up sooner or... Whoa! Isn't that that? Sorry we took so long. It took us some time to get dressed. You have to wrap towels inside so they're not as breezy as everyone says. It's kind of hard to walk. <laughs> Nana-chan, you look so cute. I'm head over heels for you. <laughs> Thank you. How do we look, senpai? Does the sight make your heart skip a beat? Oh, not at all. You're probably just used to see... Kanji? What are you looking away for? Don't tell me you're ashamed to look! What are you, a monk? Th that ain't it! <laughs> you're so cute, Kanji. Hey, thanks for looking after her. They bought me cotton candy! Did they now? Alright then. You wanna go over and do the target prank? Uh, I mean, game with me? I'll take care of Nanako from here. It's only a few times a year that this town gets charged up like this. You kids should go and have fun. Hmm, a summer festival. Hmm. A couple walking together at a festival. Unused to wearing it, the girl's yukata comes loose. Summer has begun. What kind of tagline is that? We gotta go two by two. Rawr. Two by two? See, I've been thinking. It's the summer, you're wearing yukata, and we're at a festival. It's just wrong for guys and girls to walk around in a huge group like this. We should couple up while we're here. It's the natural way of things. What, what the hell are you babbling about? I'm with Teddy. Come on, senpai. Why wear yukata in the first place? So we have memories we can remember fondly, right? So we should pair off right away. Rise! What a terrifying girl! You got a point, though. Good memories. Uh, I'm fine, too. <laughs> Oh, what I mean is, uh, count me in. <laughs> All right, you guys decide how we'll split up. Huh? Seriously? It's up to us? Uh, All right. Three guys and three girls. What should we do? Three guys? <laughs> Aren't you missing one? What? Me, him, and Kanji makes three. What? You did that on purpose. Um, should I really do this? Oh, yeah. You can barely look at him. <laughs> no way. I can look at him. It'll be a cinch. Just you watch. Nah, you should bail, Kanji. It'd be best for everyone that way. What? You don't believe me? Well, I've made my decision. Hey, wait till we're done for that. I want Chie-chan and Yuki-chan and Rise-chan for my partner. That's not a decision. Dude, you're the one who said we gotta pair off in the first place. I ain't joking here, Ted. If you try and butt in on this... 
That's right, Kanji. This is serious business, and you're a true man. A true man wouldn't be prancing around with other girls at a place like this. Uh, okay. How much more can you butter him up? Kanji, this is a test to see if you can uphold your status as a true man. <sighs> now no one will be left out. Y yeah, you're right. Thanks, Teddy, you said it. Okay, count me up. Dude, come on, don't fall for that. It's decided. I'm going with all of you. Huh? What's going on? Oh, there are too many guys, so someone would have been left out. I just couldn't let that happen. What? <laughs> <laughs> I see. You're so kind, Teddy. We let them decide and this is what we get? <sighs> what a letdown. Oh well, let's go then. We fail, huh? An epic fail. Hey! Teddy! Why are you buying another idol's photo? Mine's in there too! Aw, oh, what's with this? Hey, Ted! Hands off my corn! Teddy! You got ketchup on my yukata! for making you come out again, even though we went yesterday. But I was frustrated that I couldn't say anything yesterday. Meaning, well, when I suggested we walk in pairs, I wanted to be with you. Anyway, thank you. I'm happy you came. First, we'll go make a wish. What are you going to wish for? Oh, me too. And that's what I wished for yesterday. Hey, is that you, Yuki-chan? Well, hello, sir. Good to see you. You came to visit me again. And who is this? Is he your boyfriend? My, you've grown up, Yuki-chan. Hey, stop saying that. Don't worry. I'll keep it a secret. Well, how about a sweet and tart candied apple to share with your man here? It'll make a great sum of memory. They're doing a lottery over at the Tari. I'll give you extra lottery tickets. M memories All right. One, please. Whoa, one apple for the two of you? You love birds. No, no, fine. I'll get two then. <laughs> he totally manipulated me, didn't he? But I guess we've got something to do now. So let's go see all the other things once we've eaten. The Okonomiyaki here is really big. I remember how surprised Risa-chan was when she ordered one. Will you help me eat it? <laughs> I think it's my first time sharing food with somebody who wasn't someone from the inn. Or... People think that the goldfish you get from festivals have short lives, but that's not always the case. When I was little, I caught one here that grew to be over 20 centimeters. 
It got too big for the fishbowl, so I let it out in the koi pond. Later, I... Goldfish and koi are both varieties of carp, so they say this happens from time to time. All right, then. That's one draw each. I'll bring the lottery box, so wait here. I hope I win something I can remember today by, even if it's something small. Now, close your eyes and draw your prize. Wow, lucky day, you two. You both win. The boyfriend here wins second prize. Let's see, all that's left in the second prize tier is... Whoa! A night for two at the Matsu Room at the Amagi Inn! Uh... And a photograph of the young Okami! What?! I heard some fine volunteers took the picture during the ruckus last spring. They aren't fine volunteers! I'll take that prize! I'm confiscating this picture! Uh... okay. Well, I'll give him the prize you would have won then. The sixth place prize. A... <sighs> that was exhausting. <sighs> when I go home, the people at the inn are gonna make fun of me again. Chie would always come over before a festival so we could help each other with our kimonos, but I left by myself today. But I'm so happy we could come together. I hope we can come again someday. This is your room. Oh, oh uh, sorry. I didn't mean to look around. It's just that this is the first time I've been to a boy's room. Oh, you sleep on a futon, I see. I use a futon, too. <clears throat> um, sorry. I don't know what to talk about. Where's fine? <sighs> uh, I'm fine with anything. You don't need to worry about me. Oh, yes. I'm still studying. Cooking and job licenses. I don't plan to leave anymore, but I thought I might as well. I'm glad I realized sooner. If I'd struck out on my own, I know I would have regretted it. I wanted to become completely self-sufficient, but I think I was being presumptuous. I have the inn, I have my family, I have the waitresses and chefs. I am who I am now because I was raised by such a kind group. When I think of it that way, my problems aren't just my own. That's why I'm going to stay here, by my own will.
shown to me. Power I will treasure. I want you to have this. It's a charm from that shrine to protect you. I'm staying here. This charm will protect you in my place. Then we'll always be together. Um, I love you. much at me. Can I say it again? I love you. You're back. Hey! the senses of a beast, remember? What? <laughs> hey, what are you saying? Hey, you? I was complimenting you. You call that a compliment, you idiot? What kind of girl wants to be compared to a big 
Hey, dude, give me a break, will you? Have you seen the map? This is crazy! Wait for me! I'm done for! You know, I'm starting to get nervous. We're at the ocean, which means swimsuits, which means reset live and in person. What are the ramifications here? Am I using up my lifetime supply of luck with this? Whoa! Are you waiting for us? Dude, that's just insane! Summer is awesome! Hey, were you checking me out, Senpai? Um, can we... Get going into the water. Chie-chan, Rise-chan, and Yuki-chan all win the Ladies of Summer competition. I'm surrounded by such beautiful mermaids. I feel like this could be my chance for a summer romance. Like that'd ever happen. Where's Kanji? I bet he's still worn out. Riding all that way on a bike really did a number on him. Oh, here we come. Dude, what is that? What's what? Your swimsuit! What else would I mean? It's your basic black, what? I'm not talking about the color! I mean... I mean... was saying stuff like that. Don't act like you're not egging me on! Wait, Kanji. How come you're not getting a nosebleed over me? Huh? Why would that happen? What? I'm surprised they can get this worked up over just some swimsuits. Jeez, they're hopeless. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the water. Chie-chan, Yuki-chan, let's be mermaids! Whee! Hey, he went in first! Come on, you two, let's go! Let's go. 
Found a vending machine. I'll go buy some drinks. You want a soda? Oh! My string's getting undone. so stingy. I think we're due for a wardrobe malfunction. What in the world are they doing? Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. What now? Got you, you bastard. Busted. Hey, Senpai, this stupid bear here. Hey, hey, hey! Not cool! You listening, Senpai? Wait, hold it! Time out! Uh, look down! Down? Holy shit, the wardrobe malfunction was mine! What are you doing? You need to cover up down there, damn it! I give up! I give up! Hey, quit squirming! You run off and I'm toast! But if I don't run off, my dignity will be in ruins! Why don't we take a break? I need to put on more sunscreen. Gotta take a break to slake with steak! They're getting out of the water! Daddy, what gives? I'm done for. I'll go look for something. Sit tight! There's no way. We, we ain't got enough time for that. I can hear the harp. Stay with us, Ted. All right, Kanji. I found some. Wait, that's seaweed. Oh, there they are. Senpai! They're coming! Just hide it! supposed to say to this uh we're uh reenacting the birth of venus <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm i'm ready to be born damn it Is this the best idea? Whatever else, it's giving me an itch. Uh huh. Pretty busy day. I'm still itchy. At least we had a laugh over it in the end, right? And we found your swimsuit, too. Well, I never would have come to the beach if you hadn't invited me. <laughs> I guess it would be out of character for you. It actually might be more fun to try stuff that's out of character. Yeah. In a way, your nature is like a wall after all. Surrounding yourself with high walls makes things simple, but simplicity isn't always a virtue. Oh, man, what was that? Did I just get all philosophical there? Ouch! Just laying it out there, huh? I think it's 
it's fine. I look at that big ocean out there and think, man, why keep hanging on to all this embarrassment? Just let it go. So you don't deny that it was embarrassing, huh? Okay, why don't we play a game? Whoever loses has to buy barbecue on a stick for everyone else. But that surprise only you would want to play for, Chie Senpai. Then the loser gets to smooch Teddy. Talk about kicking someone when they're down. Then instead of playing a game, why don't we do something else together? Good times never last long. I wonder if our high school days will end that way too. What's with all the doom and gloom? The case is closed, man. If anything, I'd say we're just getting started. That's true. Man, though, this motorcycle trip turned out way better than I imagined. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we go skiing during winter break? Wait till you guys see how awesome I am on a snowboard. Talking about winter already? Getting a little ahead of ourselves, are we? Oh yeah, tons of them. None of them are that close by, but it'll be- Yeah! There's lots of mountains around here, so there's gotta be a ski slope somewhere not too far away. Oh yeah, tons of them. None of them are that close by, but it won't be too tough by scooter. Though we gotta stay safe. If the roads look dangerous, we might have to change our plans. Man, I wouldn't have thought you'd be the one stressing safety. What's the point of trying to act cool when it comes to that stuff? Danger's danger, man. Well, you have a point. All right, now that we have a plan in mind for winter break, let's start heading back before it gets dark. We're all beginners at driving after all. Hey, we're going home!
Fireworks Festival is today? You know, I don't have any plans. Okay, I'll call the rest of the guys up. Don't forget about tonight. Big Bro, are you there? John's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. Dad said we'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. It's at night, so I have to go with Dad, but he said he'll try and come home for it. It's pretty thin here. The riverbanks were packed. I'm surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Hey, where's Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Whoa! Can we just leave him like that? Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Secret savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. Teddy? What a tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. Quit reopening this morning's wounds! There they are! Big... Hey, Nanako-chan! Looks like Dojima-san made it in time! Yeah, Dad came home early! Yep. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. Hey there, little lady. Wanna launch some fireworks of love with me? How do you do that? Well... Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Tojima-san to haul you in? Things are heating up down there. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? Awesome! 
city. No, 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 don't listen to him. Stop messing with her, Teddy. Sometimes you're unbearable. Was that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> oh, looks like this one's a doozy. Oh, you're right, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy, hiya. That concludes our program for the Summer Fireworks Festival. Thank you for coming, and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally. Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks too! An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. Did you have fun, Nanako chan? Mm -hmm. I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Bye-bye, Nana-chan! Bye-bye. The fireworks were great, but... I don't know, it just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm all right with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh, yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was expecting something more... more bittersweet and stuff. Right? Well, wait a sec. What does that mean? What are you comparing it to? Did, did you go with someone else the next day? What's the matter, Yukiko? You tired? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> hmm. Seriously? <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Oh, yeah. Should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? Uh, well... Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in... Uh, other ways. Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Shut up! You don't have to say it twice! You finally came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. Do 
Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? Watermelon? Oh, definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm gonna call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. from someone, so he said we should call everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Are we seriously gonna do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? I want to do it too. I'll swing at it with everything I've got. The splattering fruit juice, bursts of joy, one night of love. The bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth. That makes no sense at all. And dude, Will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of you. I'm home. Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Welcome home. <laughs> Let's put the watermelon open. Say what? Ah, well, you see... Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako-chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. Seconded. Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Oh, but there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year, too? Of course we will! You betcha! You betcha! Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep, thank you! Thanks for everything today. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. <laughs> the case is finally solved. Now for all the... <laughs> ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. You know, you really made some great friends. Morning. Oh, summer vacation's over already. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. The vacation was pretty long. Not that long. Good morning. Y you You're that, uh, pint-sized detective. I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up. Um, you know this is a high school, right? My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, 
There are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. There are some family-related issues as well, so I've decided to stay here for the present. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. And I felt that I should at least introduce myself to you all. I trust our relations will be cordial, Senpai. Senpai? That detective boy's our underclassman? Man, school's as dull as ever. With the case closed, the days feel so empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. I didn't mean it that way. It's just... Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto-kun to join us? Oh, well, I just thought, since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel... Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student. Just... Hello, senpai. Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness. Because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. All right, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective... I'm a little curious to see what his family's like, too. There's that and the fact that he's a detective at his age. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the little guy. You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, we'll show you around. There's probably tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. That won't be necessary. I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested in you two. Huh? Hey, what did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yo, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Oh, um... Hey, guys. Sup? Uh, well, we'll be going now. So we meet again. May I help you? Hey, Naoto-kun! If you're not doing anything after school, want to come with us? Come with... you mean me? Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Grandpa? Oh well. That's that then. Let's hang out some other time. Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Is he gonna be okay at Yasogami? He is different, but he has this mysterious air around him that draws her... Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? No, that's not what I meant. Hmm. Naoto-kun said he has things to mull over, but he's got to be talking about the murder case. 
He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. That's true, but... <laughs> this place isn't our special headquarters anymore. Uh, let's talk about something else. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. I heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. It's a pretty big city. Huh? Port Island? I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, yeah? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. The idea is we're going to visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. It'll be all about studying and serious business. Oh, yuck. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. What kind of place is this private school? I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Uh, I didn't want to know that. Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can... I'll show you guys around. But we're in different years. Oh, didn't you know? The excursion will be like the campout. They're going to combine the first and second years. Since student enrollment is down and they're low on funds, they've cut the excursion back to once every two years. Well, at least we won't be bored with you around, Senpai. Gosh, I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Port Island and I wasn't working. <laughs> this will be great! I wish I could be that positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone? Some people were against the proposition, but it's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? It's just the kind of thing he'd come up with. No, King Moron! Why must you torture us from beyond the grave? No, King Moron! You don't even know who that is. Hey, tell me more about this trip. Where is Port Island? What's there? Get back to work, will ya? Well, even though the class trip is coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his days. Huh. You made that sound like you were being philosophical. Yet it made absolutely no sense. Sorry. <laughs> oh, welcome home, big bro.